Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris where we are going to continue trying to save the Kerbals from the Prethoran Scourge which has uh, chewed out this area of our territory. Unlike the previous episodes which were recorded as part of a live stream, I am recording this without actually streaming it so the quality will be a little bit better and because during live streaming of course I reduced the quality to reduce the bitrate and everything like that. But uh, yeah. I will attempt to fight back against these these tremendous foes that we have. We've got two little areas down here that we would like to connect to, but the priority is simply taking out the hostile, hostile fleets. There seems to be a fleet here. I'm currently paused. Uh, yeah, that's uh, 7,200. Currently taking a look at our forces. We've got about 5,000, let's say. Uh, to work with, and then our allies. Um, it looks like we have some allies here, Felnal Coalition, yeah, Friendly Fleets, and then my second and third fleet are here. Let me quickly order the second and third fleet to combine, and uh, possibly give them a commander. Nichelle Kerman is a four-star admiral, so that's good. Migration Treaty Proposal. Okay, well that's not uh, to do with us. Under attack. Um, I don't know where the station is under attack, actually. Uh, pause. Let's take a look at all of these things. Resource storage is full. Wow, we're full on the influence. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, the old faction that wanted to break away does not seem to uh, seem to be around anymore. Just when I have all the influence I could want to to deal with them, they're not here. I guess I didn't notice when they somehow got resolved while I was fighting the Prothoran Scourge. Now it doesn't seem like these factions are a particular threat. Perhaps we should hire leaders instead. That might be a thing to do. Right now we have three governors. But I think uh, perhaps more admirals would be a good idea. Evasion, fire rate. I think fire rate. Yeah. And... I don't know about leader lifespan. Ship hull points. We've got quite a few different types of peoples. We've got these Abevni that we can uh, hire now. And as well as these Sijathari. Speaking of which, um, I have important information for you. we have a war with the Tillanesi. That's them. I don't think I need to even bother with that. Unless the Tillanesi actually try and strike us. They've got a fleet there though. But they're busy with the Felnal Coalition which is over here. It seems like we're no longer at war with the Sejithari Kingdom. That's good. Okay, just uh, replacing these little minerals with hydroponics farms because this planet is at a minus seven on food, so definitely do not need the minerals so much as we need food. Okay, that's done there. This planet also needs more food. Well, nobody's manning the the heart of the th thing. Um, there's Kiramulans. Okay, well, I, I trust you, Kiramulans. You can you can man the heart of it. Uh, a lot of buildings were damaged during the Sejithari revolt. Now, the previous world, we had a lot of clearing to do, right? All these blockers. So, I'm going to hire another governor, uh, which can clear blockers. This Bob Kerman, in fact. Bob Kerman. Clearly named after the Bob Kerman we all know and love. Migration Treaty Proposal. Gagasi people should not be prisoners in the Gagasi consciousness. Yeah, I mean, we've been agreeing to all sorts of migration proposals. And everybody seems to be seems to be a big thing 
everybody is migrating all over the place. We have a very diverse population. Okay, we've got quantum missiles. Let me pause. Okay, well, we can do Marauder missiles, but that's gonna take a while. Auto cannons, basic. Kinetic weapon attack speed. Well, that's just an Empire modifier, so that's good for everything. Barry Kerman can do this much faster than anything else, though. That's gonna take a while, but... Yeah, I feel like uh, Empire-wide modifier is probably the best thing to go for. I'll try and spend the minerals as quickly as possible. Okay. Alright, so now we have the third fleet here under the command of Nichelle Kerman. And hopefully our allies are still hanging around. It seems like bad guys are at Hamcad, so third fleet, try and lead our forces to Hamcad. Uh, oh, it's just a construction ship. Well, that's a good place to start. I don't know how to lead these guys, but they don't have much uh, strength anyway. So those guys will go there, and then... Actually, uh, that construction fleet I don't think is that important. Maybe it's more important to go here. The spaceport... This spaceport was lost to that abyssal flotilla in a new Kerbal system. Hmm... Or this new Kerbal system. Oh, there! Oh, that's the Tillanesi. I was afraid of that. Okay. Well, we've got a friendly fleet. Oh, that's a transport fleet, though. I don't know how big this Tillanesi fleet is. Not that big. I think we can take them with a minor number of forces. Felnal people? Okay. Uh, okay, more... I'm getting spammed with this migration stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at all the spam. It's crazy. What's going on in Akolum? Okay. Let's engage with the Pathoran Scourge. Uh, actually, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do that, don't do that. Um, this is just us. Uh, the problem is our allies aren't here. I think we should retreat to Lyrum. Since they didn't follow us. Our allies, I mean. Okay, how's this battle going? Looks like it's going alright for us. Updated. The Tillanesi will rue the day they ever decided to attack us. We failed to fend off the invaders in Rhea. Oh, darn. So Rhea's been occupied. We're waiting to be able to deploy this fleet to Situation defeat the enemy in Akolum, and then maybe move on to this Gothia. Kerbals massacred on Rockamax. The dang Neo Kerbals. Several clashes between Neo Kerbals and Kerbal irregulars. Neo Kerbals have appeared to one today. Uh, okay, Rockamax, see, it's not under my direct control, it's under, uh... Situation log updated. Where is it? Under, um, Governor. Kerbal, Neo Kerbal. Happiness 49% for the Neo Kerbals. The Kerbals are more unhappy than the Neo Kerbals. This Kerbal... Wow. Happiness minus 5, minus 5, minus 5. This Kerbal is... is troubled. Can we just get that Kerbal Psychiatric here? Oh right, because I don't have control over this system, I can't move the Kerbals around. That's inconvenient. And our governor isn't doing a particularly good job at managing this situation. Oh, possibly because we don't have a governor? Or is that the, is that the Dunia sector or the new Moho sector? Is there any governor that can make them all happy? Well, Nanika Kerman could probably do an okay job. That's a lot of enemy forces without any backup from allies. Can we merge fleets now? Okay. Um, we have a little bit less power than they do. 
I feel like I want to send more over there. Situation logs updated. Station under attack. In fact, let's just concentrate our forces. Log updated. Mm, research complete. Sector limit plus one. Okay, um, naval capacity? We're still not anywhere near it. Um, visitor center. Situation log updated. Alien migration attraction. Xenophobia Station is under reduced. Habitability is increased. And it doesn't cost that much either. Well, I think that's a good thing to have. Sure. New Kerbal representative visits uh, Kerbin. I haven't we already done all this? I feel like it's going through stuff that we've already done. Now, I had to reinstall the game because I'm on a new computer now. So I don't know if that has any effect at all. I'm getting a little bit irritated with the situation log updated station under attack station under attack thing they keep saying that but I see nothing to help the situation uh, death of Edmund Kerman situation log okay updated. again where it jumps me to sometimes it doesn't help me figure out where where the Kerbal in question is it looks like the leader of new moho situation died updated okay looking good here because they were just stations, Station under attack. we just got to take them out one at a time, so that's good. Okay, so these guys were dealt with. We pushed them out of Akloam. And let's go to this Gof Gofla? A Gofia. Gofia. Station under attack. At least one military station of the Prothoran Scourge there. I don't know what kind of forces they have there, so we could be walking situation into a pretty bad situation. We know they have a station transport fleet here, would like to get rid of that, and then a force of 6,000 here. So our other ships that we're constructing, I would like to... Oh, that's a situation bad way for them to go. Station um, but it could be a good way to scout. Let's actually have that ship go there. That's okay. Alright. Um, looks like the same sort of situation. They, they, they really don't try anything new, do they? So we're taking them on one at a time. And as we build more ships, we should be able to take out the force here. That has 6,500. But it's no good not having our allies around. Station under attack. Better hydroponics farms could be useful since we are running out of food in some places, mainly because our empire is all chopped into pieces. Leader recruitment costs, though, the reduction in that would save us some influence. Station under attack. Yeah, I think a reduction in nah, nah. I'll take the hydroponics farms. People need food. Okay, what's the situation, in Gafia? Situation well, we've lost updated. some. Station under attack. We are facing both this Situation force and updated. those guys. Well, that guy got destroyed. This star hive is getting pummeled. But we really don't want our forces to get in range of this star hive, otherwise we'll be facing both at the same time. We really need to research all this debris, though. Um, maybe we can sneak a science ship in. Which is used to survey as the situation logs. Okay, sign ship. No, there's no leader on this sign ship. Uh, uh, well, let's recruit some more leaders. Hostile fleet engaged. Anomaly research speed. Okay, that's a good one. Updated. Michelle Kerman, uh, five star situation admiral, log updated. has defeated yet another foe. Station under attack. I think we should give relief to that one station. Construction let's complete. move into... Okay, well there's a Placid Leviathan, that's fine. Yeah, let's let's go in there. Hopefully the guys at Dithap Thoru will not chase us. Because they're a little bit more powerful than us right now. 
Okay, let's give some relief to that Valiant Station. By bombarding these planets that share its little system here. Okay, we're bombarding their defenses. Here we're destroying this constructor. Let's get the fleet in Gulfa to the rest of our forces here. Now let's see, is there a world here that they've occupied that we should bombard? Not really. Their influence is just uh, extended over it. It's not because they have a world at Gofia. They have one at Kosk here. And Dithathoru is actually... We have a world there that we need to relieve. That's shared territory. There's serious defenses here at Kosk. So we can't just go there straight away. I think once the planetary defenses are down, they automatically try and send a transport ship up to us to attack us so we don't actually have to occupy it but I'm not sure we do have some transport ships available we've got transport fleets here with armies not a whole lot but some so we could send them over if it turns out we need to actually assault it I hope not in previous occasions they just uh, they just wanted to uh, get out of there situation log update. Ah, yeah they, they did uh, well, I expected them to. Very good. Now let's attack this other one and we should regain control over this system. Okay, ruler elected. Werner Kerman has become our ruler while I wasn't looking. Which means that one of the science vessel pro vessels probably doesn't have a leader yet. Um... Computing, this is all... Well, I guess I'll go with lifespan, because I don't need these other things. This is not that kind of... So, Manly Kerman. Manly Kerman will be in charge of this science ship. Investigating debris. Bombardment is almost done there. Okay, that's... Military stations are static defenses. Yeah, 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 I know they're static defenses. That's the... I mean, the term military station sort of implies that already. Okay, we freed Azale. Alright. Um, do we dare move on to Dithapthoru and that force there? It's not just this, uh, this force, but also their stations, so it could be complicated. I think we need to build up our forces before we assault there. Uh, 6,500 plus... That's 7,200 there. Debris analyzed. So we're talking about 14, 15, 16,000 just for buffer. At least 16,000 we need to be safe before uh, taking that place back. And then we have a lot of other territory to take back too. Maybe we should send our main fleet to intercept that Kosk. And then bombard that. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Analyzed. Okay, so we are going to liberate Kosk. So, lesson for the future. Don't let their constructor ships build these stupid stations that we now have to clear up. It's too much trouble. Okay, we need more physics research. Uh, energy weapon damage sounds great. Colony development speed? We're not really colonizing right now. We might have to recolonize a bunch of stuff. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, I think definitely uh, energy weapon damage would be good. Focusing arrays. Uh, colonizing arid worlds would be good. Food plus 5% also good. But let's let's be able to colonize arid worlds. Like, you know, Mars. That sort of well, it's not really arid. It's like completely desert, but you get the idea. Some of these are interesting clone commandos, swarm strikers. But actually, we've got a lot of uh, signs towards swarm strikers. That's rare. It's from a Prothoran specimen too. Strike craft. Wow. 
I want to be able to colonize arid worlds. Let's face it, that's sort of basic. Are science ships still sciencing? That one isn't. Okay, it's already attacking that star nest, and then we have to take care of this large swarm station, star hive. Okay, more debris analyzed, more science acquired. Scientists gained a level, okay. Bet it's a long hard slot. Oh, look, it's another swarmer that's gonna be building something. Shoot. But uh, we've got a lot of work to do after this one. Still Vulcan, Gram, Themas, Plav, Dithapthoru, Zasmal, Wamoro. Familiar names that used to be part of our empire. Oh, darn, that constructor built a station there. Shoot. I was not hoping for that. That's 3,600 3, power that we're going to have to deal with. Well, let's send that to scout out the situation in Rimder. But we need to scout out all these areas. Hostile maybe plunging into the Thoru is not the right idea. I think maybe we killed their queen and that's why they're not counterattacking quite so much. I don't know. Uh, Rimder, eh, it's a station situation. Um, okay, uh, head into Garam. All these stations to deal with. It should continue to show the stations, I don't know why it doesn't. We know the stations are there. Fleet engaged. Oh, there's serious forces here. Um, can't retreat. Hostile fleet engaged. Ah, it's gonna die. Those are serious forces there. If we could uh, clear up Vulcan and Garam, though, the Garam, that, those are that's quite a lot of forces. But maybe we could strike down. But the Thoru seems to be more of a priority. Oh, did we actually lose the world? Yeah. Uh, oh no, Omnitech is still there. We we need to free Omnitech. You guys don't have enough food. Oh, it's a frozen world, so Not entirely surprising. Okay, society research, border range, propaganda transmissions. Hmm. Yeah, that seems attractive. Okay, what's the situation in Vulcan? Um, a lot of static forces. I think we could strike there. We gotta move our fleet at Kosk to Vulcan. And then we're going to uh, move this fleet there to cover our backs. Though that's not quite strong enough to cover our backs. I'm hoping the shell can keep it together. Some of our forces are actually in bad need of repair. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet I feel like I should bring my other fleet at Azale in to, to reinforce. What does Vimas look like? Uh, same sort of idea. And it is the one with Prophet's Retreat. I'm surprised they took the Prothoran Scourge took over Prophet's Retreat, but this Fallen Empire isn't interested at all. No Fallen Empire is involved in this. Does that mean it's okay for us to colonize Prophet's Retreat, or do they just like Prothoran Scourges for some reason? Station under attack. Situation log updated. Yeah. We've got a bit of a problem here. The shell's forces really were in need of repair. Okay, let's focus fire on. Uh, I, I, it doesn't look like I can control who they're firing at right now. 
I'd like them to focus fire on this one, but... I can't really tell them that. Okay, yeah, that was a research thing. Ah, engineering. Uh, solar missiles, explosive weapon attack speed. Sure, uh, once again, I think the Empire-wide modifiers are really important. Oh, Prothoran Constructor and cost. Hold on. We need to deal with this immediately. You, actually. Could you go back to Kosk and get those guys? Come on, get that Constructor before it builds something. We can't afford to have another skirmish in this system. We need to keep it clear. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay. Situation log update. Looks like we've liberated this one, folks. Construction complete. But until we clear Garam, uh, we're not going to actually clear the influence of the Scourge. Look at the diversity in Dinja system. Seven Kiramulans, two Sejathari, two Kerbal, six Gagasi, five Felnal, and two Gagasi Illustratum. That's that's diversity right there, folks. Uh it built a star hive already. Okay, hold on. We need to get better forces in quickly. Let's make sure it doesn't get to build another station. Situation. Yeah, I think it just got wiped out. Okay, physics research, energy weapon attack speed, as that's good. Neutronium forge reveals resource neutronium. Wish this was given to like an engineering thing instead of physics, though. Energy weapon attack speed is a little bit more straightforward. I'm not really hot on having our science ships just assist research on the planet. I think we need to know where these resources are. But then again, we're not really taking advantage of the resources we've got. Our allies, though, I, I still don't see them coming to help us at all. Then again, the, the Prothoran Scourge hasn't really attacked us for a while. So that's that's the rub, I guess. Uh, that uh, chasing them to death up Thoro might not be a good idea. Bounce back, please. Oh heck, uh, they're they're close to the gate. Kill them. Let's see if that interests. Oh, okay, this fleet is on the move. If it chases us, that'll be good. So let's try and get them to chase us to away from their stations to this sector. Hostile fleet engaged. No, please kill the constructor. Oh jeez. Don't don't attack the big big fleet. Kill the constructor. Well, they killed that pretty quickly. But maybe we can take that fleet out first without engaging their stations. Oh, that, that constructor went straight to Kosk. No, the constructor is going to Hamcad. Okay. Let's intercept them there. Oh, shoot. Hamcad's got... Why does it have all that stuff going on? In our territory. Crud. Crikey. Okay, um... Hmm. Now that has to change our plans somewhat. Let's move to Hamcad to destroy those. And here I thought we could plunge ahead to take out that fleet, but we can't right now. Alright, well, taking a look at the situation, our border used to be around here prior to this offense that we've launched and now our border is like this so we've made some headway but we are in need of Situation log up clearing up this mess here in Hamcad hopefully there aren't any other 
uh, enemy stations in random places in our own territory. But we'll have to be careful. I don't know if Nichelle's forces are enough to deal with all this. Perhaps this other fleet in cost can help. Ah, that, those constructor ships, it's like whack-a-mole. They can build those stations so quickly. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, it's just too quick. So we're gonna have to go back to Kosk again to clear up that new station. I'll do that before the end of the episode. We want to clear this and then we want to clear Kosk and then... oh wait. There's another one in Taramba now. Yeah, there's this uh, Prothoran Scourge station in Taram. Oh, the, the same spread, two stations of the Star Hive type, and then one of the Star Nests. Okay, everybody headed for Taramba. Where, where is our? Do we? Oh, uh, physics needs a scientist. We, we keep... a lot of people are dying. A lot of people are dying. This is a very unfortunate situation. Okay, good. Research speed, that's excellent. Okay, um... Uh, did we lose our Admiral? And I didn't notice? No, Nichelle just decided not to be Admiral of that place anymore. Uh, no, I, I want her there. Yes. I mean, why is she, why was she not admiral of that anymore? I have no idea. Oh, look, look, the, 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 they're they're coming in behind. Station under attack. You know what? We need to split up. We need to have one ship in every single place, kind of thing. Um, not return. Okay, promising officer, very good. Okay, um, shoot. No, that's that's too far. Do we have Vacradil? Fine, anything. They, they got build again in in Hamcad just after we cleared it up. Ridiculous. Well, we can't really go after that constructor ship, but at least we can see what's going on. But they're, they're gonna build another station. They're gonna build another station there. Could our guys in Taramba hurry it up? Yeah, we'll have to keep scout forces in various places. Let's see now. Create a new fleet. Okay. And this fleet will deploy Situation log updated. here. I want to make sure we have forces everywhere. To get rid of the constructor ships. Okay. Um, a brief trip to Lurum to heal up, and then we'll head into Cost to get rid of these things again. Oh, Vulcan. Ah, they already built something here. Blast it. And that constructor is gonna build another one, but these ships are gonna get destroyed by that. Maybe they can take out the constructor ship before they do get destroyed? I don't know act of desperation here. Wounded Queen, a deep space spy drone has stumbled upon the site of what appears to have been a recent space battle between a Prothoran and a second as yet unidentified party in Walmoro. Uh, Prothoran Queen was badly injured, seems to have been left for dead. Okay, uh, that the creature is still alive however, could be a priceless, priceless opportunity to capture. Situation okay. Updated. So That's what do we have to engaged. send there to capture the the Queen. Lots of debris here. Capture the Queen. Go to one sign ship. We just need to send one sign ship. Okay. 
Hostile fleet engaged. Let's see if we can get in there safely. I don't know. There's uh, there's bound to be enemy forces there, so it's risky. But they did say left for dead, so I don't know. In theory, that means they shouldn't be there anymore. Oh, can we get rid of that constructor? Please, please get rid of that constructor. Okay, retreat now. Okay, we got rid of the constructor and we're retreating, but we ha we'll have to deal with that station again. Okay, our fleet, go to Kosk, please. What's the situation while Marl? There's bad guys. There's lots of bad guys. Can it do it? They're sort of over here. So maybe they won't notice? I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to end the episode here as we try to eliminate these stations in Kosk. So it's a tough battle, like I said, sort of whack-a-mole. And we're gonna have to build more ships and everything. Got some building. But yeah, l l let me just... Uh, Put here and wrap up the episode and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.